Uh, I'm slightly alarmed by this thing here that says passenger warning. <laughs> I've never read this that. This aircraft is non-type certified and may not comply with the safety regulations. Do, do first timers normally soil their trousers? I've never had anybody who's soiled their trousers yet and has owned up to the fact. Right. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Good enough. This is a much harder challenge than I thought it was going to be. Essentially, this is just like a, a board with a propeller on it. All right, Terry, let's do it. All right. Let's get me bombs. Here are my bombs. About half a pound of flour in each of them. Not too sure how accurate they're going to be. But give it my best shot. There are no sides to the plane. <laughs> I tried to keep a stiff upper lip, but inside I was bricking it. I'd seen paper planes safer than this thing. That isn't the camera shaking, it's me. Once we were airborne, I was told to keep a lookout for the target area, a big X on the runway. But before we got there, we had to make a circuit of the field. We wheeled round unsteadily, with the whole plane being tossed from side to side by the breeze. Then finally, zoomed in low. Bombs away! I had five missiles, all of which looked like bags of cocaine. But judging by how disastrously inaccurate I was, I don't think this method of smuggling it into a country is going to replace the trusty jamming it up your ass in a condom technique. The 10 foot target might seem huge on the ground, but when you're coming in at 60 miles an hour, it's difficult to get the timing right, especially with your eyes shut. At last it was over. I didn't just want to kiss the ground, I wanted to take it out to dinner and then give it a proper shag, with breakfast and everything. Now let's have a look, how have I done? Very good grouping, very consistent, nowhere near the target. We'd all be speaking German now if I'd been in the Battle of Britain. Challenge 5. Survive a night in the jungle. I've always found nature to be rather unpleasant, so I wasn't looking forward to this one. Even though the towns in this part of the Philippines aren't exactly Venice, I would have paid good money to hole up in one instead of venturing out into the heart of darkness. But I get paid for this, so we drove to the rainforest. And rainforest it was. There was a typhoon blowing up from the South China Sea, and it was due to hit right above the jungles I'd be staying in. Luckily, I had an expert guide to make sure I didn't die in there. His name was Pepito, and one of his earliest memories was watching Japanese soldiers into have their the heads cut off during the Second World War. Not that man is the most dangerous creature in these woods. No, they're filled with snakes, spiders and scorpions, all packing enough poison to put you in a wooden box. I wasn't taking any risks. I'm just going to use my machete. Admittedly in a very effeminate way, but quite effective. As we trudged through the humid jungle, I realised how underprepared I was. Three things I could have brought. I brought cigarettes, it's far too hot even to smoke. I bought my machete, which I'm going to need later on to make my bamboo kitchenware. I can't believe I bought a paperback book. <laughs> what was I thinking? I like this. <laughs> First, we had to build a shelter. There you go, Pepita. I'm doing marvellously well, aren't I? He makes it look so easy. It's very irritating. What's the easy way, Pepper? <laughs> the easy way, just like you see. That's easy. This uh, only for one man's uh, bed. Yeah, one man's bed, that's all we want. Oh, here we go, I've got some ground vines. I'm a real backwoodsman. Oh, an ant bit me really hard on the tit. Right, let's smoke these fuckers out. I'm now declaring war or anything alive in the jungle. Never ever come to the jungle. You can't drink the water and everything eats you. Look at my mattress. It's made of wet leaves. Miserable. <laughs> At last it was time to make a fire. 
Definitely smoke coming out. The branches were damp. Thank God for my paperback book. Literature wins. The pen is mightier than the sword. I wouldn't normally recommend making a fire in your own bed. But I think in these circumstances it's forgivable. With the fire complete, Pepito disappeared into the night, leaving me alone with million insects. The jungle is a very noisy neighbour. But the worst enemy are the ones you can't hear. The ants are all just, they're just making a meal of me now. I'm trying to rise above it at some sort of zen level. What have I ever done to ants? Well, whatever it was, they got their revenge that night. I looked like a pin cushion by the time morning came. But at least I'd won, making it Smith 4, Philippines 1. It's a good job this challenge wasn't sleep in the jungle, because I didn't get a wink all night. Oh. Tarmac. Well, I suppose there has to be a forfeit. It's a good job I didn't fail too many challenges. They might have been using real nails. See you, Grub. Very funny. Come back! <laughs> Come back! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha.